Come one, come all, to make the cheapest dumbbells of all. All you'll need is two bowling balls, a drill, a drill bit, and a piece of three quarter inch pipe, and you're ready to go. All for under $10. Easily done in under 10 minutes. And you'll have the equipment to do bicep curls, bench press, shoulder presses. It'll be huge beyond your imagination. DIY Duke here. You've seen them. You love them. And now you want them. Yes, bowling ball weights. Just like the old time circus. They're really simple to make. The hardest part is going to be drilling through those puppies because those things are hard. And you've probably seen a kid at a bowling alley lobbing one halfway down the bowling alley. Boom! Hits the ground. The floor it doesn't even hurt it. They're tough. So we're going to do a couple drill bits. We're going to do a pilot bit. This one is like 3 8 It's a long one. It's going to go clear through the ball. We're going to do one of these maximum speed. The speed bore bit, which is actually made for wood. And we're going to go ahead and drill through that plastic. This is going to get warm as we go through it. So we're going to kind of take our time, make it do its work without catching the bowling ball on fire, which it wouldn't catch on fire, but it will start smoking. And then we're going to end up putting those babies together. And we can impress our friends. They'll come over and go, wow, where did you get those circus weights, man? I look on those on eBay and it's like, those cost a mint. They'll never know. Unless they pick them up, of course. But the dumbbells are going to come in around 33 pounds a dumbbell. Depending upon the weight of the bowling ball, there's different weights, but normally the one's 15 pounds, something around there. So let's go ahead and get your bowling balls, which the best place to find them is at a thrift store, or some used place, whatever. I got six bowling balls for two bucks a piece. Black, simple, looking for some of the colored ones too, you know, like those blue metal flake, those green ones, those would be looking sweet. But two bucks a piece and you got the basic product. And then you got to have a drill, of course, and some drill bits. And then start drilling holes. So let's start drilling some holes, see how it goes. So we got our drill, it's a D-Wall 20 volt max, half inch. If you have an electric drill, like this big one, you can use that too. Let's go ahead and drill the pilot hole. We're going to start out using the thumb hole, which is already there. And we are going to go ahead and center that as best we can. I got it in gravel. That kind of holds it pretty good. And that way we can hold it tight with our feet. And then we'll go ahead and start the process. Now again, I'm putting a little pressure on this. This stuff is hard stuff. So let's pull it out. Don't try to go all the way through it. Pull it out. We have some some product in there. Who knows? But do it in a well-ventilated area or wear a mask because the stuff is pretty smelly. So just continue that process. And pull it out every little bit and clean that stuff out. And you can see it's got to start getting warm from the friction. Now if you want, you can get kind of warm in there. You can add a little water, a little lubrication in there. That helps clean it out also when you're drilling. It goes through pretty fast. You can see that drill bit getting hot. So now we're ready for the next step. The big boy. We're going to start on the other side. Because that will go in there better. And really the best kind of drill bit to use is this big this big one 
the big electric drill is going to serve your purpose better. You can do it with the battery one, but it's going to wear the battery down. You might have to replace it a couple times. So if you got an electric one, go with the big electric one. We are using an inch and a quarter drill bit. We're going to be using three quarter inch pipe, which is actually one inch in diameter, uh, diameter on the outside of the pipe. Now, here's the deal. If you got metal drilling drill bits like this one, you're going to drill through that stuff super fast. But these things are spindy. You get an inch and a quarter inch metal drill bit. That's like 50 bucks. 40 to 50 bucks. These are like 10 bucks. So I'm just using these because, hey, you can resharpen them also if they get dull on you. But let's try this one out and that'll save us a lot of money for doing bowling balls. I mean, if you're doing a bunch of them, you'd want to get the metal drilling bit, but we're only doing like four to six. So let's give it a shot. Now that's going through it pretty fast. Yeah, stinky stuff. So if it gets hot, let it cool down. Again, we add some water. Let's go. And remember to clean that junk out. We're about halfway through, so we're going to turn this over. And go ahead and go through the thumb hole and meet in the middle. It's warm. Let it cool. Pull your drill bit off. Again, by the time you're done, the drill bit will be pretty dull, but you'll have cool weights. There it is. That's a big ol'. Hey, my thumb fits better in there now. Next step, three quarter inch pipe. Okay, we have a piece of three quarter inch pipe that's five feet long. Go ahead and put a cap on one end, and then go ahead and slide your ball on there. Now, real simple and effective way to keep that ball from going anywhere either weld a washer there or even easier if you don't have a welder let's get a hose clamp and tighten that super tight that's gonna hold your ball on there okay <clears throat> and there we go old-style circus weights. Of course, if you want to make dumbbells, you'll make those shorter. And basically, you're probably looking at a 12-inch to 14-inch piece of 3 quarter inch pipe. But there you go. They're pretty. <laughs> Bowling balls are made tough. To test them, say, you're just you're just pumped out max. I mean you're just you can't lift another one <coughs> You can't do it, and you don't want to bend over and you think <coughs> Dropped on concrete Bola balls there's hardly anything tougher than that and DIY Duke until next time